Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFB TV. The topic of today's video is the Beretta ARX100 and why I don't like it. In September of 2014, I was sent one by Beretta to test and evaluate for the firearm blog, and I was extremely happy to be able to test it as it had the makings of an amazing rifle. That is to say, ambidexterity, user selectable ejection, quick change barrel, and amazing ergonomics. I consider myself pretty familiar with most modern military rifles, including Beretta's past offering and former Italian service rifle, the AR-70. The AR-70 screams Cold War stamped goodness, and it is the result of a collaboration with SIG back before SIG was churning out stuff up in Exeter. I knew that Beretta definitely had the means to produce an awesome next generation military rifle, and when I heard about the ARX I was ecstatic. Testing of the ARX-100 took two range trips. On the first trip, I shot the gun 180 times. This session was discouraging as I experienced numerous failure to feeds with brand new Lake City M193 ball. Also, I was not impressed at all with how the rifle shot, so I took it over to my friend's house to get a second opinion. He and Patrick both wanted to check out Italy's latest contribution to the Italian national defense. We measured the trigger pull and were taken aback. It was so heavy that it actually maxed out the trigger pull gauge. We did get it to read once though at 11.5 pounds. Again, 11.5 pounds. That is worse than an AUG, Tavor, or FS2000. Also, the short, stubby charging handle, handle being a generous term, caused Patrick to pull the bolt to the rear and scrape his knuckle on the shell deflector badly, which actually resulted in blood being drawn. The charging handle is about an inch long and maybe an eighth of an inch thick because it has to be swappable from left to right, so this is a compromise. Handle being a generous term, I think charging pick is more appropriate. Despite these blatant flaws, I did convince Patrick to come along to the range and help me test this gun a little more. I cleaned it up as best I could and took several loaded magazines with the same Lake City M193 ball ammo. I started doing double taps and trying to figure out how to keep the gun on target with some rapid fire, but the trigger pull made this really hard, as pulling 12 pounds over and over again tires your pointer finger out pretty quickly. That said, we did perform an accuracy test of the rifle. Here I was not optimistic at all. The sights included with the gun are poorly constructed in my opinion, and at the time I was told that Beretta was redesigning them. Now two years and several months later, this rifle still has the same crummy sights. At 100 yards with M193 ball ammo, I was able to eke out a 2.56 inch group, and I averaged 3.4 inches. To me, this is unacceptable of a rifle with an MSRP of $2,000. So in short, for a rifle with a street price of over $1,800, I expect a lot more. The dainty folding stock is horrendous, the sights are awful, Accuracy is subpar, the trigger is a joke, and the charging pick makes being behind the gun nearly as dangerous as being in front of it. The ergonomics, such as the bolt release being accessible by the shooter's trigger finger, and the quick change barrel are not enough to offset the rifle's bad qualities, or the $2,000 MSRP. In my opinion, the ARX100 is probably the worst value of the latest generation 5.56 military style semi-automatic rifles on the market. Its high price is, frankly, insulting to consumers, and two years ago, when we were told there would be some changes to make the rifle more palatable con to consumers, nothing changed. Actually, I take that back. One thing did change. The street price rose from $1,500 to $1,800. I hope this sheds some light on why I don't like the ARX100. I get asked all the time why I don't like it, so I hope this clears that up. Big thanks to our sponsor, Ventura Munitions. We hope to see you next time.